Alright guys, welcome back to JPOS Gaming and today I'm going to show you this really interesting keyboard Alright, that is called the CLVX1 Alright, and this is, as far as I know, alright, the world's first all right, keyboard that integrate a keyboard and a trackpad together Alright, so you might be you know, thinking what I'm talking about, alright um, Later on, you will know what I'm talking about, alright so let's just go ahead and unbox this and see what we get inside the box. All right, and I tell you, this thing is really, really interesting. All right, so um, yeah. Oh, there's another box inside a box. Okay, well, it's always like the box sections. Let's get this box out of the way. All right, you do get like um, can do more. Look at that. Can you see the text? Yeah, can do more. All right, it's a lot of features on this keyboard. All right. So yeah, what I have here is the Windows version one. They do have the Mac version one, and if you are using a Mac, all right, this will greatly benefit you a lot, all right. But it doesn't say it's like you know for Windows is useless, all right. It's very very useful for Windows as well, all right. But as I would say because they are mainly advertised for Mac, it's because all right, this thing can do a lot of gestures for the Mac as well. But this one can do all the Windows gestures as well. All right, so we go just unbox this and see what we get. All right, so let me just put up this. Okay, we do get the keyboard displayed nicely over here. All right, and um, okay, we do get the keyboard itself. What else do we get? Okay, we do have something here. Looks like a oh a USB c to USB c cable all right it's pretty long and it's braided as well so really really good quality cables over here all right we do have cables over here and um and what is this over here okay we do have like some quick start guide drivers so you have down like some drivers so you can control this keyboard with an app as well so there's some like quick start guide and some drivers all right um yeah so these are all the documentation over here all right, let's not go into documentation because it will be pretty boring. But you know, you guys, this is, if you're using this product for the first time, you should definitely check it out. All right, so I guess this is what you get inside this package itself. All right, um, and now let's just go on to the keyboard itself. So um, the keyboard overall is extremely well built. All right, the whole thing is aluminium. All right, yeah, the whole thing is aluminium. The frame is aluminium. You guys can see for yourself. All right, it's very very nicely built. All right. And you guys can see the back, all right, it's all aluminium. All right, so this is a very, very premium keyboard, all right, and it feels extremely premium in your hand as well. You guys can see, all right, all the, all the aluminium, all right, I don't think it can focus. Can it focus? I don't think it could. So it's too reflective, all right. And the keys here are Caesar's key switcher. So, you know, it's like the one that you found in a MacBook. So, yeah, it's very, very low profile and it's very, very satisfying to click on. So, yeah, so it's Caesar Style's keyboard. All right, and there is like, you know, the thing for you to like sit it upright. All right, so if you like, you know, want it to angle at a certain angle, they have it as well. All right, and uh, on the top here, I think there is a USB C port and an on off button right over here. All right, let's, let's show you guys this. USB-C port and an on-off switch right over here. Alright, so yeah, so the USB-C port for you to connect to the PC. Alright, and this thing also supports Bluetooth and can connect up to three devices via Bluetooth plus one device plus USB-C. USB C. So you can connect up to four devices on this keyboard, which is really, really crazy. Alright, and like I say, why, did, why I say in the first place, alright, why this keyboard does integrate a trackpad. So where is the trackpad? You still take a stick and look, where is the trackpad? There is no trackpad on this keyboard as well. Well, the trackpad is on the keys itself. So yeah, the key is also touch sensitive. So as you can see, you can you can uh, do gesture and all this, which I'm going to show you later on. So the trackpad is on the key and you get a very, very huge trackpad. So yeah, you can do a lot of gesture and shot. So it's really, really awesome. I would love a very huge trackpad all right, that, that really, really styles it. All right? And on the top here, they also have made it like a touch bar. So you can control like certain settings on the here, which I also going to show about it later on. But my first impression on this keyboard is really, really um, well built. All right, I love the aluminum body. All right, and the keys feels very nice and really nice. All right, so it's a very premium quality keyboard. All right, so it's not like those like cheap plasticky keyboard that you feel. All right, so when you hold this for the first time, all right, it feels extremely premium. All right, so let me just turn it on. All right, you guys can take a look. Let me just turn it on. 
Is it on? Yep, you guys can see like some RGB color. Can you see some colors? Yep, there we go. Yeah, look at that. All right, so you guys can see the um, the RGB. I mean, it's off the light, so you guys can see the RGB. It's very really nice. All right, that is like a green, blue, and so each keys are individually lit. All right, really, really nice. I love the subtle RGB. We not very flashy in the eyes and looks very, very pretty. And right now I'm gonna just uh, connect it to my laptop and show you what what you can do with this with this keyboard itself. So um so let me just get my MacBook over here. I just put, place my MacBook right over here. All right. So like I say, this thing acts like a trackpad. So this part of the area, all right, it is the trackpad is already also labeled out as um in white color. So you guys can just move your mouse. You can see you can, I can move my mouse. Alright, with just like a trackpad, so I can just move it around. You guys can see there's a green like RGB going along with it. I don't know if you guys can see clearly on the camera, but yeah, so I can like open like Google Chrome. Alright, that's actually like a trackpad itself. So it's very, very useful, alright? And uh, it also supports like window gesture. So let's say if I were to like, you know, like the three hand down gesture, right, to close down all the apps, alright? So yeah, it also supports all this and I can open like Microsoft Edge and I can use the like the three three gesture to like swipe you will open the other app so this is how you do it all right if you touch and hold you can switch between different tabs as well you guys can see all right so it fully supports the gestures all right you can like you know bring up like another desktop or you can like you know so yeah and uh, yeah you can do a lot of gesture with it all right like for example if I open YouTube all right Right, I can just scroll with it like I'm using like you know um, a trackpad, so it just feels very very natural, just like a trackpad. So I'm gonna click on one of tap on one of things. All right, it just feels like a trackpad. All right, because the keys are like so flat and so close together. All right, you won't feel like any bumps. It just feels very natural. All right, and you can just scroll with two fingers. All right. And yeah, you can see it's really, really nice. You can scroll with it. You can use it to, you know, you can type on it. All right, so I can like search for like, okay, J Force Gaming. All right, so yeah, I can just edit like a trackpad. So I don't have to, you know, type and then after that use my mouse, type, use my mouse, or like probably um, sometimes you have to like type and then, you know, use that uh, and then you just move your hands around. You don't have to do that. You just need to type and use your hand and then just type again. You don't have to move your hand all the every single time so it's very very convenient all right especially for coders all right like i said this thing is really really awesome for coding as a coder myself oops, i'm sorry i'm just turn off the volume all right, as a coder myself you know sometimes you want to debug or you want to code and you have to move your mouse to somewhere you have to like type and then move type and move it's very very not pleasant or it can it can save you so much time or right? just by typing 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 scroll scroll type 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 scroll scroll it's very very convenient so you can just like scroll 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 you can see it's very very awesome and you can switch between app using gesture or right, this is my obs recording i'm recording the screen all right you guys can see i can switch between this as well all right yeah it just it just feels very very natural just like a trackpad itself all right so yeah and they have also the app as well for you to like customize it all right and if you guys can see clearly all right on top here it is um you guys can see that it's in, in yellow color all right and over here it is in purple color so um yeah you guys can customize this as well to do various gesture and if you are using this on mac all right the top here can also act like a um, touch bar for the mac so if you know a mac then you know the top that's like a touch screen touch bar so this can also replace the touch bar as well all right but for windows or right, you can use it like you know for this you will you will adjust the brightness of the keyboard all right, and for this one, you guys can see, all right, for example, if I just like increase the brightness, all right, so for the purple, for the purple side one, all right, you can see I can increase and adjust the volume of my laptop. So yeah, you can customize it to various functions you want to use it. So on the top, there is other functions as well. All right, and let me just open up the software for this one itself. All right, so this is called a touch on keys software and there's a lot of customizability that you can do on this software itself. It's very, very, very good. Alright, so if I were to like, you know, right now I just, I'm doing everything, alright, 
on the keyboard itself the trackpad the everything all right so you guys can set your own profiles all right right now i'm using the global profile which is the standard profiles all right for other profile you guys can add so like probably if you're using a laptop or your desktop you have different profile like gaming profiles or you know have work profile and charge all right for like various keys various hotkeys to open various stuff you guys can set your own profile so every time we connect to a different device all right you guys can switch to that profile so you guys can instantly go into the gesture that you want to use it on this keyboard all right so yeah you guys can use your ai all this and there you can see the battery percentage over here all right if i go to here all right you guys can customize the, the gesture itself so for windows there is like you know tap swipe three finger up four finger down all this kind of thing and you guys can like you know change the different you know four fingers swipe out you want it to open window settings or nothing to volume up d-pad up d-pad down there's a lot of customizability that you can do all right they also have a preview here for you as well so you can see like what it actually does so it's very very useful all right so um yeah i can help you save a lot of time with different gestures as well all right and um so this one can detect a lot of fingers all right they have touch sliders as well. The touch slider is the top where I talk about just now. All right, so you guys can use it to like probably adjust the backlight brightness, volume control, screen brightness, all right, navigation. So if I like switch the yellow side to screen brightness instead of adjusting the brightness of the keyboard, all right. And you guys can see the sensitivity. You can adjust the sensitivity. All right, so right now it's at, uh, switched to the, oh, not sorry, not the backlight brightness, but it's the screen brightness. All right, where's my screen brightness? This one. All right, so uh, yeah, so once, so it's my screen brightness. So when I like, you know, reduce, I can reduce the screen brightness. I don't think the recording software can, can capture that. But you guys can see, okay, it can increase and decrease the brightness. So yeah, you guys can adjust different different settings over here for your own liking as well. All right, so very very useful. All right, and you guys can have backlight as well. So you can customize individual RGB lights. All right, um, for mine and for the default one is like you know, here will be white. All right, the 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 alphabets area. All right, will be white. All right, the top will be yellow and purple. You can adjust to other color you liked. All right, or adjust to other functionalities. All right, you can adjust. So right now the other place is blue in color. All right, and uh, yeah, you guys can adjust various section. You guys can see this section is white in color. Section is blue in color. So if I don't want it to be blue, I can like probably change to like you know. Um, green if I want to or red do I have do they have red here no have so yeah then it will change to red so yeah it's customizable RGB color you can ad adjust like various keys as well you want to all right and change color you can change the durations all right really really awesome all right and when during typing you will change color so if you like type a five you'll change to five you, I don't know if the camera can see but yeah so when I click on five now it changed to blue I change up arrow it changed to blue itself so when you type all right it will turn into blue so it's very very useful you guys can adjust all the color individually independently all right based on how you would like it to be all right but i think i still like the blue one so i'm gonna just switch back to blue for now all right i think the blue one still looks nicer to in my opinion all right <laughs> uh okay i just reset color to default all right yeah okay so i think the blue one looks really nice so yeah you guys can adjust to your own liking Alright, and they have different function keys as well. For this function key, you guys can assign different things for different function keys. Alright, right, right now you can see if I hover over, it will show like if I press on um, F3, alright, it will open a file explorer. If I F4, it will so I press function F4, alright, you will open up voice typing. Alright, you can choose a presentation display, scissors. So you can adjust, probably like you don't want like, you know, this function F7 to open quick settings. Alright. All you have to do now is just to click on that, all right? And you guys can see, okay, you can change to like probably the like F7, open up keyboards, uh, open up calculator, open up, you know, file explorer, to sleep, to screen lock, to refresh. There's a lot of things that you can do all right, with this, all right? So you guys can, you know, adjust to your own liking. So uh, all these like shortcut keys, you guys can adjust it. So it's very, very useful and, you know, can help increase your productivity. So it's pretty, pretty awesome. All right. And they have like various settings and this one can use to update like the software. So you can go to settings. All right. You guys can choose like, you know, um, dominant hand. So they will have like, you know, certain gesture and charge. All right. To fit 
you know the hand that you're in so it'll be much easier like probably if I'm because I'm left-handed so like sometimes the gesture will be on the left side so it will be easier for me to you know work around with things so yeah you guys can also adjust all these like two fingers to what gesture adapt adaptive intelligence alright uses AI to adapt to your usage and you know they'll adjust different settings for you I think it's pretty really 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 awesome and really cool you can have automatic bed light brightness or you can have different applications your factory reset I right, have device info, you can see a lot of things, okay, you can do a lot of things over here, right? So yeah, um, this thing is really, really cool. A lot of customizability on this as well. And I think this keyboard is really meant for everyone. I mean, everyone means everyone, all right? Whether you are a web developer, you are a coder, you are like a video editor, you are just, you know, doing basic office work like Excel, all this, right? You can add all these shortcuts, you can add like all these to like video editing, it's very video editing, when I video edit video, I can like use this as a scroll wheel to scroll to the timeline. So it's very, very useful. You guys can customize it to fit, you know, your profession. So it's very, very nicely and the keys are very, very nice to type on because the scissors keys exactly feels, you know, like you're typing on the, uh, the, 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 the MacBook, all right? So it's very, very, easy to use, very simple gesture, and it just feels very natural. So if you want to slide your hand around each keys, all right, like a key, like a trackpad, all right, it's very responsive, all right, and it's very, very, and you feel very nat natural, all right? It doesn't like feel like, you know, you're like, like um, running over a rough surface or what. It's very smooth, all right? It just feels like a trackpad, although like it doesn't, it's not really as smooth as trackpad. You still can feel like the, the, the edges between it, but it's very, very low profile that you, after a long, long time using this, right, probably like five or 10 minutes later, you can barely feel the thing. It just feels very natural to you. So yeah, this keyboard is super easy to use, super efficient, all right? And it's really, really amazing. It's not that expensive at all, right? So if you guys are really interested in this keyboard, all right, they are still in Kickstarter phase, you guys can check out the Kickstarter link, the first link in the video description down below and go ahead and check and check it out, all right? And um, if you pledge a certain amount, right, you guys can get this, keyboard at a very super early bird price which is a uh, one a thing that i highly uh, recommend you guys not to miss out on because you know you can get this at a very very low price right now if you find this is the keyboard that you really want all right and i think this keyboard is really really awesome it can like you know um do so many things and and yet you're right you don't have to take out a lot of space on your desktop as well so if you're using this on desktop right it's just this to do you don't even need a mouse you don't even need like additional trackpad anything all right all is built into here you don't need a volume not all you can adjust the slider so you don't you can if you can you can like remove all the clusters on your desk so if you like you know a very minimalistic design all right this is perfect for you all right you can animate the mouse you don't need any more mouse all right you just need a keyboard on the table and you're good to go and it's very lightweight as well so it's very thin all right so you guys this thing can pretty much fit into like you know your backpack and shot and you can go on traveling as well so it doesn't make up much space you can see how thin it is all right and it's very lightweight so i can even hold it with like one like you know with my with my finger as well i can even hold it with my finger right it's super lightweight as well and the battery life is really really amazing it lasts really really long so you don't have to like charge it constantly it charges pretty fast as well and this just feels very, very premium on your hand. I'm not gonna lie all. Oh, and this is a full-size keyboard, so they give you the numpad. You get like, you know, from numpad to arrow keys to every single um, layout, all right? All the keys you have all over here. So it's a full-size keyboard. So no matter what you need, all right, they all have it here, all right? And and this, I love the scissor switches, all right? So the switches is like when you like, move around a trackpad, all right, you can, you don't have to worry about, you know, accidentally clicking a certain, a certain button. That's probably one thing that, you know, um, people might worry about, right? You don't have to worry about it because since this is a scissor style keyboard, right? It's a scissor style keys underneath here. So it takes a bit more pressure to press it in. So you don't have to worry like, you know, when you like move it around the trackpad, you're scared and like, you might actually press down a single key. You don't have to worry about that because it takes a bit more pressure to press the key down. So yeah, it's, it's perfect and it just feels very smooth on your hand. And you can like, you know, smooth it around. You don't have to worry about cutting your hand and shot. It's just very, very smooth, very well designed. And you know, if you use it for a while, you will just forget about it. It feels very natural to you. So once again, if you guys want to check out this CLVX1 keyboard, all right, you guys can check out their Kickstarter page. The first link in the video description down below and go ahead and check it out for yourself. All right, so don't miss out on me so much, Trinity. And this is JForce Gaming. All right, and I shall see you guys in my next video. Peace out.